Good day and welcome to our time of worship and celebration together on this 11th Sunday after Pentecost. I'm glad that you're here to join with me virtually. And I invite you now to share with me our call to worship based upon and from Psalm 85. Let us share together. Lord, you have poured out amazing blessings on this land. You have restored the fortunes of Israel and forgiven the sins of your people, so that all your wrath, your blazing anger, is now ended. Now bring us back to loving you. Oh, revive us, that your people can rejoice in you again. Pour out your love and kindness, Lord. Grant us your salvation. And as we seek to have the presence of the Lord with us, Christ to journey with us in the breath of the Spirit upon us, we share a word of greeting with one another, a word that says, welcome, hello, how are you, farewell, faring well. That word is the Hebrew word, as I've said many times, shalom, the word that Jesus spoke at the resurrection to Mary, that first word. And I invite you now to share that shalom with each other, and across the airwaves, so to speak. Shalom, shalom in Christ. And may that shalom bring you peace, welcome, and well-being this coming week. And as <clears throat> we lift up that shalom of Christ, we light this candle, the shalom candle, the peace candle, the Christ candle, that tells us of the good news. The light shines in the darkness no matter the circumstances. And the darkness can never put it out. The light shines for us, within us, and through us this day. May the light brighten all of our lives in this coming week. God be with us. Amen. And as we do gather for worship this day, I invite you to join me in our prayer preparation. Let us pray together. Hear our prayer, O Lord, and grant us your peace and salvation. We are sorry for any wrongdoings, for any confusion, for any negative feelings and thoughts towards others. Mold us and shape us to be better Christians, to be better children of our Heavenly Father. Fill us with your loving spirit and let it overflow in us and spill out in the form of grace, mercy, forgiveness, and love. Help us to be all that we need to be in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
The scripture lesson today is a bit different in terms of the parable. It is the parable of the sower, but not the actual parable itself, but the explanation of the parable by Jesus. And this is from Luke 8, 9, and verses 11 through 15. This is what he told his disciples and us this day, what the parable of the sower means. Then his disciples asked him what this parable meant. Jesus said, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. The ones of the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. The one on the rocks are those, when they hear the word, receive it with joy, but have no root. They believe only for a while, and in time of testing, fall away. As for that which fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. But as for those, as for that, in the good soil, these are the ones who, when they hear the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bear fruit with patience and endurance. May God add blessings to the reading of his word, and bring blessings to those who hear this written and spoken word, and transform it into living word. Amen. I know it was a bit unusual to read Jesus' answer to the question of the disciples, what did the parable mean? The parable of the sower. Often the parable is told in its original version, and the explanation is left out for the sermon, so to speak. But that it is an example of how the Word of God works and is spread, and the source of that, and how it is planted, and the response to it. Remember there's a sower. The sower in this image is God, who goes out to sow seed. Back in the day, they did what's called the broadcast method. The seed was in a bag or a pouch, and they, the sower went out and threw the seed on the ground. They didn't have tools like we have today to plant seed. So it was spread around, and it was growing probably wheat to bring bread. So the sower is God. The seed is the Word of God. That Word of God is manifested in Christ. The Word that is spread of good news. In the Jewish faith, there is a prayer called the Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Eko. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. That, that one God is the one who looks over us and cares for us and prepares us for our lives journey. But the seed is spread, the message is given. First it comes where it says to on fertile ground, to the path where it's hard, and that the word of God cannot grow there. It is unsuitable ground. It's unsuitable soil. It's probably stone and walked upon and tread upon. And the devil comes, that which is evil, with that which is temptation, that which is those things which hurt us, affect others, sin, if you will, comes and takes away the word. It empties us. So they may not believe and have salvation, which is the good news. There's some that goes on the rocks. Again, it's tough round. They hear the word, those who are listening. But because of their cares, they, are, they respond, give joy, but they have no root. Seeds which are planted do not grow well in stone. They believe for a while, 
But when the test comes, and the tests do come in our lives, they fade away, they fall away. Some fell among thorns, weeds. Weeds choke out the other seeds, the good seed. Those cares of life, those things that wear and tear us down, can take us from that word. They're choked with the cares, riches, concerns, pain, and anxiety of life. Ready, that. They do not mature. And I think we see a lot of that in our culture this day, of immaturity. I think the COVID infection has been a source of that weed that has been among us for two, over two and a half years. But then Jesus says about the last part of the parable, about the part where the seed is thrown on good soil, and the seed ripens and matures and gives bountiful that that seed bears itself fruit when it grows up and matures. And I ask you this question, who are we in the parable? The answer is, I think, ironically simple. We're the soil. The Word of God is spread in us. How do we receive it and share it with others? We are the ones in which the Word of God comes by our faith, our hope, our trust, our love. We as believers are that soil that God prepares. And it's our call and our ministry and our witness to be that soil which shares the good news lives the good news, witnesses the good news, that cares for others with concern, compassion, and love. May you this day be that soil that is enriched by God's presence to help others to find a way in their lives. God be with you. God bless you and keep you, keep you until we meet again. Amen. As I offer up the pastoral prayer for this day, I ask you to offer up your prayers to God in Christ, prayers of your concerns, your needs, your expectations, your hope and your loves. To remember those in your prayers who are in need of a word of kindness, a word of hope, a word of love, and that we lift up together the good news of our faith. Let us pray. Gracious God, our God, in whose image we are created and made, and whose breath gives us the breath of life from our very birth. We lift up this day the good news of your word through Jesus' parables, that the seed of salvation is your word not just your spoken word, but your living word. As it says in John, the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. May that word be in our hearts, that seed that helps us to be the source of faith, hope, and love for those who journey, those who have fear, anxiety, uncertainty, in concerns of their physical needs, their bodily needs, their mental needs, their spiritual needs. Help us to pray for our neighbors and their concerns. Help us to pray for our own selves in lifting up seek our word of prayer to seek your will for us this day and every day. Gracious God, hear our prayers for ourselves for our fellowship which gathers in your name, for the good news we share, for the word of God we give 
and spread to others. Help us, strengthen us, encourage us, and help us to be the soil of faith, hope, and love, which renews and gives to the world around us your grace, peace, and love. This we ask in Christ's name this day. Amen. I invite you now to share with me the prayer Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for being with me this day. So take care, and God bless, and be with you. And I invite you now to share our benediction from Psalm 117. For his merciful kindness is great toward, towards us. Praise ye the Lord. Go in peace. Amen.